Here's an example of estimating sample size for a population proportion. So here's the example. How many people should be surveyed to construct a 95% confidence interval with error equals 3% for the population proportion of people who've seen a UFO. So this question, how many people should we survey to do this? And I'm going to have to give a formula to discuss a little bit before I get into doing this exactly. Uh, the formula for this is n, which is the number of people, is equal to z squared p q over e squared, where um, the z comes from the confidence level. Now, you can calculate the z, but the most commonly used confidence, interval, confidence levels, I'll give you what the z values are for, for that. So if it's the confidence level and the corresponding z value, if it's a 90%, the corresponding z value is 1.64. If it's 95%, the corresponding z value is 1.96. If it's 98%, the corresponding z value is 2.33. And if it's 99%, the corresponding z value is 2.58. Now these can be calculated using invnorm, and there is an example in the homework, the first example, which has you do this, but these are the most commonly used values, so this should be good enough for doing this. Okay, now for the other parts of this formula, n equals z squared p q over e squared. Well, the p and the q depend on what information is given in the question. p is equal to 0.5 if no information given in the question. And q is always 1 minus p. So in this particular example, and I didn't give you any information in this question, for this example, this is 1 minus 0.5, which is 0.5. And the e is the error that's given, written as a decimal. The e for this example was 3%, and you want to write that as 0.03. Okay, so now we have all the information we need to plug in for this formula. N equals Z squared P Q over E squared because the confidence level was 95%. I'm going to use 1.96 for Z. The P is 0.5. The Q is 0.5. And the E is 3%, which is 0.03 squared. And then on the calculator, uh, 1.96 squared times 0.5 times 0.5 divided by 0.03 squared, 
and that comes out to 1067.111111. And we always round up. So instead of 1067, the answer is 1068. No, keep it going. 1068, always round up. Okay, now there's one more thing about this. Sometimes they'll give you an estimate for P. In that case, the formula is a little bit different, or it's the same formula, but you're using a different value for P. So sometimes they might ask the question this way. Same exact question. But the population proportion P is estimated at 0.45. Well, in this case, we're going to use P as 0.45 in the formula, so N is still Z squared P Q over E squared. The Z squared is still 1.96 squared. The P is now 0.45, and the Q is 1 minus P, which is 0.55. I did that in my head and the E is still 0.03 squared. And this time, the calculator spits out 1.96 squared times 0.45 times 0.55 divided by 0.03 squared. 1056.44, and again, we always round this up to the next higher integer, so the answer we want for this is 10. 57.